क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज द इक्वेशन माइनस सेवन एक्स प्लस वन इक्वल टू फाइव माइनस थ्री एक्स विल बी सेटिस्फाइड फॉर एक्स इक्वल्स टू एंड दीज आर द ऑप्शन गिवन टू अस नाउ वेन वी सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन द गिवन इक्वेशन इज माइनस सेवन एक्स प्लस वन इक्वल्स फाइव माइनस थ्री एक्स नाउ ट्रांसपोज एक्स वन साइड एंड द नंबर ऑन अदर साइड सो वेन वी ट्रांसपोज माइनस थ्री एक्स ऑन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वी विल गेट माइनस सेवन एक्स प्लस थ्री एक्स दिस माइनस थ्री एक्स विल बिकम प्लस थ्री एक्स एंड वेन दिस नंबर वन विल गो ऑन राइट हैंड साइड इट विल बिकम ऑफ माइनस साइन सो ऑन राइट हैंड साइड वी गेट फाइव माइनस वन सो दिस इंप्लाइज माइनस फोर एक्स इक्वल्स फोर एंड वेन वी गो फॉर क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन दिस माइनस फोर विल गो ऑन राइट हैंड साइड इन द डिनोमिनेटर वी गेट एक्स इक्वल्स फोर अपॉन माइनस फोर विच इज माइनस वन सो अवर ऑप्शन बी हियर इज करेक्ट the value of x will be minus 1 when this equation will be satisfied now when we put minus 1 in this equation the another way of solving the problem can be we put the options in the equation and when the equation is satisfied that option is correct option so in place of x we put minus 1 in the given equation now when we put minus 1 here on left hand side we get minus 7 minus 1 plus 1 this will be our left hand side right hand side will be 5 minus 3 minus 1 for value x we have written here as minus 1 so left hand side will be 7 plus 1 minus 7 multiplied by minus 1 is plus 7 and on right hand side we get 5 minus Now minus three multiplied by minus one will be plus three. So this we obtain on right hand side. So this means eight equals eight. Equations left hand side and right hand side are equal, and hence our option B here is correct. The value of x is minus one. Second problem is the root of the equation x plus four upon four plus x minus five upon three equals to eleven is. And options are A twenty, B ten, C two, and D D option is none of these. Now let us solve this equation. When we solve this equation, we find that twelve is the LCM. Four into three is the LCM on left hand side. Three will be multiplied with x plus four. So in numerator we get three x plus twelve. Three obviously will be multiplied by x also and four also plus. This four will be multiplied by x minus five. We get four x minus twenty, and this equals to eleven is our equation. Now let us simplify it. This gives us twelve is the LCM. Three x plus four x is seven x minus minus twenty plus twelve is minus eight. This equals to eleven. Now. 7x minus 8 is the numerator on left hand side, so we get 7x minus 8, and 12 will go on right hand side. In cross multiplication, we get on right hand side 11 into 12. Now, 11 into 12 is 132, and then minus 8 is transposed on right hand side. We get plus 8, and this equals to 7x. Is our next step. So 7x equals to 140, which gives us x is equal to 140 upon 7, which is 20. 7 will come here in the denominator by cross multiplication. So we get x equals to 20, and hence our option A is correct. Now another way of solving can be that we start with the options. we put these values in the given equation and which value will satisfy will be the root of the equation so when we put 20 in this equation we get 20 plus 4 which is 24 upon 4 is the first term 
second term will be 20 minus 5 which is 15 upon 3 and this, this should come as 11. 4 cancels 24 6 times, 3 cancels 15 5 times, 6 plus 5 is 11 and we get 11 equals 11 that is our left hand side and right hand side are same and hence we can say that 20 is the root because we know that root is that value of x which satisfies the given equation. So our option for this equation is 20. Question number 3 is pick up the correct value of x for the equation x upon 30 equals to 2 upon 47 and options are a x equals to 5 b x equal to 7 c x equal to 1 and 1 upon 3 d none of these. Now the given equation when we cross multiply in the given equation when we cross multiply 30 will go on right hand side in the numerator so we get x equals to 2 into 30 upon 45. Now we simplify the right hand side by 15 we cancel 30 2 times and this comes 3 times. So we get 4 upon 3 which is 1 and 1 upon 3. So our option C here is correct. Question number 4 is the solution of the equation x plus 24 upon 5 is equal to 4 plus x upon 4. This is the equation and options given are these options. Now we transpose first x on the the term which is having x on right hand side on. Now first we transfer the term containing x on left hand side. So we get x plus 24 upon 5 equals to minus x upon 4 equals to 4. This x upon 4 which is term having x when it comes on left hand side we get minus x upon 4. Now simplify this. The LCM will be 20. 5 will be multiplied by this x and 4 multiplies x plus 24. We get 4x plus 24 into 4 which is 96 minus 5x. This equals to 4. Now 4x minus 5x will be minus x. This equals to 4 into 20. 20 multiplies this 4 in cross multiplication. And 96 will be transposed on right hand side. And here comes minus 96. Which gives us x equals to 4 into 20 which is 80. 80 minus 96 which is minus 16 and since minus is here so this will be of plus so x value is 16 and hence our option c is correct if we put x as 16 in the given equation we get 16 plus 24 upon 5 equals to 4 plus 16 upon 4. If we put the value of x as 16 in the given equation, we obtain this. Now simplify this. 16 plus 24 is 40. So 40 upon 5 is 4 plus 4 cancels 16 4 times 4 plus 4. 5 cancels 80. Uh, 5 cancels 40. 8 times so we get 8 equals 8 that is our left hand side and right hand side both are equal and hence our option C as 16 is correct. Now we will see the next problem. Our next problem is question number 5. 8 is the solution of the equation and 4 equations are given. Now we see if 8 is the solution of any of these equations then if we write in place of x as 8 then the equation will be satisfied that it's its right hand side and left hand side will come equal. 
Now we start putting the value 8 in place of x in all the options. We will try with the first, we will try with option A. So 8 plus 4 upon 4 plus 8 minus 5 upon 3 equals to 11. Then we write 8 as x in the option A equation. We obtain this. Now try that whether it is okay or not. That is its left hand side and right hand side are equal or not. This comes 12 upon 4 plus 3 upon 3 which is 11. 4 cancels this 3 times, 3 and 3 are cancelled, so 3 plus 1 is 11, means 4 equals 11 which is wrong, which is wrong because 4 is not equal to 11, so it means 8 is not the solution of equation this which is in the option A and hence our option A is wrong. Now we see the option B. Now we, when we put x as 8, so we get 8 plus 4 upon 2 plus 8 plus 10 equals 9. This should be equal to 8. Solve it. So 12 upon 2 which is 6. 8 plus 10 is 18. 18 upon 9 which is 2. This is equal to 8 which gives us 8 equals 8 which is correct and hence 8 is a solution of this equation, 8 is a root of this equation, so our option B is correct. We will not go for option C and D because only one option is correct, so here option B is correct. Our next problem is question number 6, the value of Y that satisfies the equation this is our given equation and these are the options means these are the values one of these will satisfy the given equation now we simplify this equation we solve this equation so lcm on left hand side will be 6 and 9 are there so lcm will be 18 6 divides 18 3 times so 3 multiplies y plus 11 will give us 3y plus 33 minus since minus is here so we will start be writing this y plus 1 multiplied by 2 in bracket because 9 divides 18 2 times so we will write 2y plus 2 9 divides 18 2 times so y plus 1 will be multiplied by 2 minus is here so we are writing this in bracket this equals y plus 7 upon 4. y plus 7 upon 4 we have written as it is. Now we see that 4 is cancelled 2 times and 18 is cancelled two by 2 9 times. We can simplify it in this manner also. Now simplify this numerator we get 3y minus 2y. So y comes here 33 minus 2 which is 31. Now this is multiplied by 2 which comes here in cross multiplication. y plus 7 is multiplied by 9 because 9 goes there in cross multiplication. So 2y plus 62 equals to 9y plus 63. 7 multiplied by 9 is 63. 9y will be transposed. When it comes on left hand side, it will be of minus sign. So we get here minus 7y. On right hand side, 63 minus 62 is 1, which gives us y as minus 1 upon 7. So our option B here is correct. We can put the value as minus 1 upon 7 in the given equation also and we will find that this equation is satisfied with this option.